Hello, here we are, June 29th, 2013. We're going to do the unboxing of a Carvin Bolt Plus guitar kit. And this is not an actual true unboxing because I did already look inside, but we're going to simulate it. Everything is back the way it was, and we're going to simulate the real unboxing. So here's the box. It comes like this. As you can see, it says a nice Carvin on the side. And everything is cool. It looks really cool and it's very really solid. So we open it up and inside we find three sub boxes. Okay, we're going to look at the first one is the little one. And what's in here? Well, we find the instructions. Guitar kit instructions. I don't know if anyone can see this. There it is. And all kinds of good stuff. The five-way switch wiring, maintenance, adjustment, okay. And we have a little checklist of all the things that should be in here. And it looks like they've been all checked, so we should be able to find it. So let's find on it. Well, the neck we haven't found here. Okay, here we have some uh, copper insulation and a little bit of a hookup wire. Here we have, uh, I believe, the five-way switch the jack and the two potentiometers, good. This is the little cover for the back, which has already got metal insulation on it to prevent uh, radio frequencies from getting in. And it has a little bit of screws here and some set screws, good. One set of carbon guitar strings, good. We've got the mechanics, so the tuners, and they look pretty nice. They look like they're oil-filled tuners. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. We have a beautiful Allen wrench to end, not to mention two, I say two picks for the same price. And now we have some potentiometer knobs. Okay, good. We've got the, the strap buttons, we've got the jack cover, it says made in USA on it, we've got the, uh, the neck screw plate and the neck screws which are nice, we have now the bridge and its mechanics with a ground wire I assume, very nice, looks pretty nice, and we have last but not least the pickups, and as you can see there are three because I ordered an extra one for my own purposes. And I don't see any identification on these pickups, but I guess there must be a way. Oh, here's one. This is a classic series Humbucker C2NN, C22N, that's the special one I ordered, and the other two must be the normal ones that come with the guitar, although I don't see any identification on them. Good, so that's the first box, everything looks really nice in there. And as you can see, it's, been, it's well packed and protected and nothing to complain about here. In fact, as you probably will see, there's nothing to complain about anywhere in this kit. This is really nice. Okay, that was box number one. Now, what would be box number two is this. And, well, we've seen all the guts, so what could be in here? Well, what do you think? The body, now, is that a beauty or what? The body is here, it's really nice. It's been well, well uh, cut out, it's been well processed. It's quite smooth, although a little bit more sanding would not help. The neck, the electronics pocket is perfect, there's a little bit of stuff. It's all, it all looks like it was well rooted. The rooting is nice. Got number seven in here, I don't know what that means. The neck pocket, it looks pretty, pretty nice, I must say. And uh, actually, I'm very impressed. And you can see the arm pocket carving and also the hip cutaway. It's all, it's very, very nice. I have to say, it's impressive. It's very impressive. And then, put this back. Okay. And what do you think could be in this box? Well, I think it's 
pretty clear to everyone that this can only be the neck. And we'll just take it apart and take a look in here. And it's all wrapped up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's pull it out of this little plastic bag. And this is the neck. And it's very, very, very well done. The frets are beautifully in, beautifully uh, set. There's no high points that I can see. Looking at it straight on, it looks pretty damn straight. And the frets look perfect, I have to say. The finishing is very smooth. It's got the pre-drilled pre holes for the mounting. It's got the side, side markers, as you can see there. And as you can see, it's got no label, no logo on the head, on the headstock. This is where I'll be putting my own logo, and this is what I recommend to everyone. The nut is in position, it's nice. And there's a little bit of protection on the uh, thrust, ro thrust, the truss rod cover, and it looks, you know, really impressive. I'd say uh, the whole thing is really, really, really well done. I'm very impressed so far with my carbon guitar, and I'll be uh, giving you updates as I assemble it. Thanks a lot.